In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a rough uh, sheet metal looking similar to this here. Uh, it was given to me without no um, dimensions. So it's going to be a rough. I'm trying to um, estimate it to whatever the dimension it is and to make it look as close as possible to what I see here. So let's get started on it. Uh, first, you want to go to new sheet metal. Hit OK. Go to sketch. Select the uh, X. Z here. Um, then you want to do the rectangle two point here. What I'm using for the dimension is 10 by 10. Uh, but whatever it's given to you, if you um, have a project to do, um, go with that and say OK. And the thickness that I'm using is pretty much on a default level, so I'm not changing anything for now. But if your project require you to do a certain thickness, um, go with that. And now what we want to go is sheet metal again. Select the contour. Actually go to sketch first and highlight here. And then what we want to do is go into line. And we are going to be drawing similar to this here, this shape here. So um, let's go with that one. There. Select there. That should be okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Select there. Select there. We want something that looked similar to uh, what it was given to us. So uh, this looks about right. So once we do that, we go to contour flange. Uh, so highlight the line that we just drawn. What we want to do now is select here, select the top line, so then it'll draw it for you, as you can see. There's that one, that one, and that one. And these are all default gaps here that you see. And then say apply, and you can just close this. There you go. Now we're going to finish it off with the flat sheet, just like that. So let's see here. Let me see what I could figure out on this. Hmm. OK, let's do it this way. Flange, S select here. Take it to the tooth, uh, right about there. That's good. And then what we want now also is from. So we want from here. We have that one, okay. Let's take a look at this real quick too because uh, we need to move it up a little bit here. I selected this because the other one have a gap too, so it's pretty much on a default right now. So I want to say apply, see if it works, close this. What we want to do now is just trim these off because we don't need that, just cut it off. So what I did was I went into a model, 3D model. Select sketch, and I'm selecting the back side of it for this. And I'm using the project geometry because I just want to add these line on there. So there, there. You don't see it right now, but it's added to the back of it. And if you find another method of doing this one faster than what I'm doing now, um, there's usually is, but um, yeah, feel free. And now I'm just adding these on here, 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 here. There. Looks about there. Okay, and said finished. Go to extrude. Select there and there. And we're going to do is cut. Hit OK. There you have it. 
go back to sheet metal what we're going to do is just do a create a flat pattern give it a second here and there you go you have it flattened load it so there Uh, pretty similar, huh? Okay, so um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you find another cool tips and tricks to make this one look even cooler or faster. Um, yeah, just let me know. All right.